What's going on guys? Brian from Jig Airsoft. Um, on my way home from the beach driving alone. Well, driving with my dog, but didn't provide much anyone to talk to, so figured I would do a quick video. Um, kind of like a reflection of all the like my year that I've had uh, it's been like a, a, almost a month since the one year anniversary I just never did a video so figured I'd do one now um, so when I first started oh yeah you'll hear my uh, you'll hear my GPS a couple times too um, so when I first started I think I want to say well, I should really talk about how I got into airsoft at first. Um, about a year and a half ago, my friends told me about airsoft, and as soon as I heard about it, I was pretty hooked. Uh, they they invited me to one of their games one time, and instantly I I loved the game and I wanted to um, I wanted to play. So I would go. I got my own gun. <laughs> Well, actually, um, my first gun ever, and I'm going to get a lot of shit for this one, uh, was the Double Eagle, the, the M83 Double Eagle, I want to say, the little plastic thing, shoots like 200 FPS, if anything. Uh, I thought it was the coolest gun in the world at the time, then I went to another game, and I saw all their guns shooting, and I'm like, ooh, alright, this isn't good, so, um... Uh, got a new one. My my real first gun was um, a the AK Dragonov, which I still have. I love that thing. Uh, still haven't had any problems with it, so I still use it. Um, the next gun was just this past Christmas. I got the GNG GR4 G26 kind of like an M4 kind of thing, um, what else, uh, channels I watched, back when, uh, my friend told me about Airsoft, I, I looked it up, and I, there was this one night where I swear I was on, online and on YouTube for a solid five hours, and I, I, I probably went to sleep at three in the morning, because I just, I just loved watching, uh, those videos, I looked at like skirmishes and stuff like that. Um, I would watch Scout the Doggy, Crazy and Sea Man, uh, uh, Adiron, people like that, the big channels. And then I figured, you know what? Um, I'm gonna bring my cameras to the next game, and uh, that's really when I made it. I think it was May 2011. Uh, no, 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 yeah, May 7, 2011. So it was actually over a month, a lot over a month, since the, um, hold on, I missed a turn, I missed a turn, okay, right on Bangs Ev, ugh, I'm so into talking to you guys that I missed a turn, so, now I'm getting home 15 minutes later than I should've, whatever, um, so, I was watching those channels, brought my camera to the game, and decided to make channel, so, I made the channel, and along the way, let's see, I must have met, ever since I started, I met so many awesome friends. I mean, I met uh, my first subscriber ever, I think it was, um, oh, I forget the original name, but I know his channel now is Licensed to Film. Um, I'll just put that, like, right on the steering wheel, the annotation. He was my first subscriber ever. Uh, I, I talked to him got to know them, uh, we put each other on featured channels, I mean, we were really small, I'm talking like five subscribers, uh, but he was the first one, and we figured we'd put each other in the featured channels, then I met George from Quick Pistol, then I met Alex from United Soldier Airsoft, I, I don't even know his channel now, because he's had so many, um, then I talked to, uh, who was then known as Stalk Snipe Out, and uh, I became really good friends with him. I uh, I still talk to him today. I think I met him just a year ago today, or like I don't know, about a year ago. 
and uh, yeah, we talked to each other a lot. I sent him uh, a little bit of money to help out his field, but then his field just got, you know, uh, his his neighbors talked. Uh, well, they made him they made him shut down his field, so kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I became good friends with him. Um, now these this group of this group um there's Airsoft, Airsoft St. Louis who stalks sniper as is now. Um, there's Airsoft Geek and the Mako team. There those three uh, make up what I like to call the uh, Illinois Missouri. Um, what do you call it? The Illinois Missouri trifecta. Uh, love all their channels. They're the three of my favorite. Mike from Airsoft Geek, um, oh god, I don't even remember when we met, it was probably a day or two, if anything, after, um, after I met John, um, he's, he's another really good friend of mine on YouTube, I'll put his thing on the wheel too, and John's also, like, right here, um, yeah, I mean, all those guys, Mako team. I bought one of his shirts. Uh, they've been they've been really good to me. All three of them. Oh shit, I missed it again. Oh fuck. Yeah, I missed the Parkway. Whatever. I'll get on it somehow. What are you looking at, dog? If my dog thinks I'm an idiot. Um. Let's see. I got the Mako patch. Also, the uh, the Seraphim Airsoft guys. Uh, I'm pretty good friends with them, too. Met them, I want to say, maybe five, six months ago. About a half a year. Uh, I think about Christmas time, I want to say. Um, yeah, I, I met them. Uh, they... they I liked, I loved watching their videos actually, cause they bring in the contours and the GoPros or whatever they use. Um, I like, I liked watching it, and I talked to them. We got to know each other, so they're another, they're another fun group of guys. Uh, who else do I watch? I watch, um, of course, Crazy and Seaman to this day. I met him. Oh yeah, I got, to, I got to meet one of the most famous guys, Crazy and Seaman. That was, that was just awesome. Um, he made a video for me. He plugged my channel, so it was really cool. The thing we used to do that we should start up again, we used to do the vocal shows. That was a lot of fun. Um, that's how I really got to know a bunch of the guys because it was you got to talk live with them. You were on the live show. Um, yeah, it was... The vocals were a lot of fun. I'm sure a lot of you guys are will agree for any of those of of you who uh, went to those things. We, just a lot of fun stuff would happen when it's live. It's all just for fun. There's no seriousness. We just, we would sit down and talk about airsoft. It was, it was awesome. Um, what else? A bunch of guys that I'm happy to have met uh, besides the guys that I already talked about. Um, airsoft Reviewer HD, Epic Airsoft HD, J, uh, J or Jai, however you pronounce it. Uh, I talked to him a lot. He said he was, when he makes his uh, trip to um, America for his tour with Scout, he would uh, come to the Jersey area, hang out with me a little bit, so looking forward to that. Um, Airsoft Shays and Gigs, you got uh, my Vato. Um, uh, Ireland Airsoft, I'll put his link below too. He's He's probably one of my top supporters. He's always had he's had, he's had nothing but nice things to say, and he had um, what do you call it? Um, productive feedback. I don't know if that's the, the phrase, but uh, he would always have great feedback to give me some points and uh, or tips and pointers. And um, yeah, uh, I wanted to thank him too, so I'll put his thing below. Um, now in November, I made the YouTube Airsoft League. We still have it going now. People just post um, what they what they want in their their videos, 
any questions, all that kind of stuff, that's still open. That link will be in the uh, description too. That's just where all the channels kind of like talk on YouTube, uh, on Facebook. So, yeah, that was good. Uh, in December, uh, I won the um, S Thunder Landmine from Crazy and Seaman. And actually, I was, um, oh, I gotta get my easy pass on. Hold on. Whoop. Okay. Uh, hold on. I gotta. I gotta move over. Okay. Um. Yeah, I won the I won the S Thunder landmine from Crazy and Seaman back in December, and funny thing about that is I was actually uh, putting up Christmas lights. I was on top of a ladder, and I heard a little beeping sound in my pocket, and it was my uh, my iPod, and it was an email alert, and I checked it, and it was um, Airsoft Shiz and Gigs that commented on my on my uh, on my channel. It said, uh, "Yo, congrats on the NC Man giveaway," and I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" So I got off the ladder, went inside, went on my laptop. And I saw the announcement video, and I was going nuts. I, I, as soon as I found it on the email that Frank sent me, I put put that on my page. Uh, I was I was going nuts. I was thrilled. Um, just that video alone gave me like 30, 40 subscribers just because I won. Um, let's see what else. But really, it's uh, oh, also not too long ago, I uh, I won the SoCal Pink Panthers giveaway. It was uh, a paracord sling. Um, that was another thing that was that was really cool to have to have won. I needed a sling, and I was just about to buy one offline um, or off the internet, and I won it. And it's sick. I have it in my gun right now, and I use it every time that uh, I go out. And what else? Most recently, been talking to uh, the last event when I went to Godfather with Crazy and Seaman. Uh, I interviewed him. I interviewed Gabe, the uh, main guy over at Godfather, the guy who runs all the events. Uh, so they were talking to me. They would uh, they would put my channel on their featured channels. So that was awesome. Uh, and this group, Scarecrow Tactical, um, I'll put their channel down here too. Uh, I met them at that event. A uh, bunch of awesome guys. They're really into Milson, so I mean, they're they're the real deal kind of thing. Um, when I was at the event, they were the ones leading the way and kind of stuff. And I think I think if I'm not mistaken, they're going to be joining the military soon, or something like that. Um, uh, th they've been they've been good to me too. They want to hire. Well, they wanted to. Uh, hired me as their cameraman for um, Invasion of Normandy over at Skirmish USA, but I couldn't do that because of, of a lacrosse tournament at uh, Hofstra University uh, that week, so I couldn't do that, but they offered um, for me to uh, film them whenever they go to an event, and I, I said I would, so we'll see where that takes me. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's been a really cool year, met a lot of awesome people. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Um, I've also learned a lot of cool things about Airsoft, and overall, I've had an awesome time. So, uh, I'm looking forward to an awesome year ahead, and I um, guess I'll talk to you guys later. I'm, I'll be home soon, and I'm sure by the time this video is up, uh, I'll already have been home because I can't edit a video in my car. So, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm going to turn on the radio and I'm going to sing my heart out. Because I feel like it. Freaking moron. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Girl, tell me how you feel.